Hey YouTube, what's up? And today I'll be showing you Parallels Desktop 5 for Mac, which is an app that allows you to basically run Windows or any other operating system such as Linux, Solaris, or Ubuntu on your Mac, which makes Mac OS X one of the only operating systems you can run just about anything in. So, um, this is what happens when you first launch the application. You get this really cool little window, which would, I think, list all of your operating systems that you have installed. I've just got Windows 7, because that's all you really need. Before I get started, I want to show you the preferences. So I'll launch the preferences here real quick by hitting Command, Comma. And basically, you know, you kind of get you know, your basics, you know, what you want the icon to look like, and how you want your mouse and keyboard to react with Windows, and your USBs, and things like that. So I'll go on and jump right into Windows. This takes a second to launch. The video might stutter just a little bit right here. But uh, once it gets launched up, it's going to launch up a custom BIOS specifically for uh, Windows, which you don't know what BIOS is. You can Google it. It's for basic inputs and outputs. And currently I have my sound off. I'm going to turn the sound on for this virtual machine. I was playing a game in here, believe it or not, that required me to, you know, turn the sound off because it was so loud and you couldn't turn the sound off in the game, so. Here, basically, this is the window mode, I think is what's launching up here. And basically, here's... And there's your startup sound. And it's looking like it's installed a little... Put a little C drive up here to show me my Windows hard drive. That's kind of cool. Anyway, that shows me what's on and basically what you can do here is as I move my mouse over towards the limit of the virtual machine, you can see my cursor change if I have the app selected. But you can see the cursor immediately changes when I go to Windows, which is really cool. But, uh, and I want to show you just some of the different modes first. I'm going to show you the most basic, which is full screen. Which basically puts Windows mm -hmm. 7, the front of a t you know, the front of the screen, you can't really see Mac OS 10 behind it. And it looks like you're fully running Windows 7, which I have a... Uh, 27 inch iMac, so this looks really great running Windows 7. Better than any Windows machine I've ever seen run Windows. And basically, you can run it just like Windows. So I can run Safari, which is, you know, kind of my favorite app for browsing because of the bookmark support. You can scroll using the Magic Mouse. It's not as fluent as using the Mac, but it does work. Uh, if I exit that out, you can run Office or anything else. So here's my little start menu. And if I choose Microsoft Office, I have the 2010 betas on here. I can watch Word, just like this. And uh, keep in mind, this only has one gigabyte dedicated to it. I'll show you here real quick what it scored. This is actually one of the fastest Windows machines I've ever really used. Even though it's only got one gig of RAM. I've kind of customized this a little bit. But it's only got one gig of RAM, but it's running the i7. And it runs a 4.5, which is actually really good, considering... So, you know, basically you can type it out, save it, it's just like you're running Windows. You know, you really, and then to get back and, and out of the Windows 7 full screen, let me not save that, you just go over here to the left, top right, left hand corner, and it kind of uh, flips over, you click there, and it'll take you out of full screen. And here we go, you, it's got nice little transitions, which you can customize. And then I'm going to go in here and choose a different view, let's say Crystal, which is actually my favorite, because it actually works really well. Uh, coherence, I can't get to work very well, but here basically telling you about it. I'll close that out. And the color scheme has been changed to Windows 70 Basic. All right, oh well. And you can change your volume and things up here. If you right click on this uh, little icon here, you get your Windows bar here, and I can easily click on Word and launch Word. And it really blends in, you know, with the uh, uh, Mac OS 10 look. So if I launch a few other apps here, and iTunes, I can easily, and if I hit Expose, you can actually see that a uh, word goes with it. And then I can say launch another app, um, I don't know, Safari for the, for PC. And yeah, and as you can see, all these apps easily go together. And you can even do slow-mo with it, which I think is really cool to do. If you don't know how to do this, you just hold down Shift and hit the Expose key. Really cool. Pulls out some of these apps here, and there's those apps are closed down. I got an important message. Huh, get a backup. 
Okay. <laughs> that's Windows look, I guess. And basically, you know, that's the crystal mode look. You can easily cl click on it regularly with a left click. And you get some other, op some other options if you want those. This does work with your printer. If you've got an OMAC with a floppy disk, it'll work. If you've got a network adapter, you know, it works with everything. You can, your CD, if, if you pop in a disk in there, anything just about works. I'm gonna, no, not hit the window, start menu, exit crystal. It's gonna do its transition back to the windowed mode. And I'm gonna hurry through these other two here. Coherence really isn't nothing, it's kinda like crystal. It puts a windows button down here that I can't get to work. And then you've got modality which is a pretty cool little app. It just shrinks everything down. And I can easily grab a corner and make it bigger. And it's basically for running a Windows app in the background. You just shrink this window down really small and you go about your business. And it's just running Windows there in the background and it fully works. So I can launch the start menu and try to launch something. And you know, like I said, it's really small and it's really only for running apps in the background. So really I could get to go. Anyway, I gotta figure out how to exit this view, which would be cool. There you go. <clears throat> go back to window. And basically this is the you know the heart of this app. It it works extremely well. And you can and here's all your options of course for your network and things like that. And this works extremely well. You can choose to share it with your uh, Mac like I do here. Oops. So I can say I want to uh, go to my documents and this documents folder is actually linked to my documents on my Mac so if I launch my documents folder here on my Mac you can see that they match up perfectly I think or it should at least, I don't know anyway if I go to downloads it would probably look exactly the same anyway you get the idea it, it will sync up fairly reliably to your Mac I've never seen it do that before but that's kinda interesting you can see all the files that are there I'm going to change them program files, and edit a file if you want to. And this basically works just like Windows. Your animations will be a bit slow, but they still work. Uh, you know, it's not really made to play games in, you know, like Halo 3 or something, but you can play a smaller game. You know, I'm trying to think of an example, but I can't right now. So anyway, you can run smaller, lighter games that aren't as 3D intense, but if you're wanting to play Halo 3, I would definitely recommend getting a gaming PC to do that with. So, uh, Anyway, basically real quick, just to shut it down, you'll hit the shut down button. Basically, it's going to shut down your PC, just like you would normally. Anyway, YouTube, this app costs $80 from Parallels.com, and you can download it for a free trial for 30 days. It's a really great app. I, I recommend you do getting that free trial. There is other competition out there. There is uh, VMware, which is another uh, application for $80 also. And there is VirtualBox, which is free, but VirtualBox has a kind of harder to use interface. That's why I went with Parallels, because it had the easiest interface. And according to all the um, news articles and things I've read, Parallels is the fastest. So uh, anyway, YouTube, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you later. You have a great day.